We're going to uh, take a look at um, sample variability and using Enzyte to do it. Uh, I'm just going to show you a little video that might help um, clarify um, sample variability and, and what it's all about. So we know that we sample because basically we're trying to get an idea of what's going on in the um, population. Well, we're going to kind of work backwards here. We're going to um, uh, put in a, a population. So we've got males and females, um, and we've got them all together, and we've got, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we've got a population, and we've taken their heights. And so we have this, um, this uh, box plot histogram that basically shows uh, the population uh, that, uh, and their heights, generally speaking. It's fairly normally distributed. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the median, because this is when, for our internal, we're going to look at the uh, parameter of not mean, but median. And we're going to see, um, Insight's going to tell us what the median of that population is. It's 160 centimeters. Now, what I'm going to do is sample from that population, just to show you how varied samples can be. So let's Let's just say I take a sample, um, sample size of 20, say, and I, and I do, I take out, oops, sorry, I take out a, a sample of 20 from the population, and I, I bring it down. Now, I take the median of that sample for the heights of the individuals, and you can see that ah, this sample is wrong. The, the point estimate of, of the median, it, which is wrong. We know that the population median is 160. We took a sample out of that population and we got a median for that sample that's not 160, so it's wrong. So well, let's try it again. So we'll take another sample of 20 and we'll drop them down. Oh, we missed it again. So we've got these medians that are giving us, um, or these uh, samples that are giving us medians that are in fact incorrect. They're, they're not correct. Because we know that the sample uh, median is 160, but we're, and we're taking samples out of this population, but we're not hitting that 160. And we can do this and do this and do this, and we will continue to get a median that is often quite different to some regard uh, to the median of the population. So the question becomes, well, well what do we do? When we, when we sample, you see, when we sample, we don't actually know what the median is in the population is. That's why we do a sample. We, we do a sample so that we can sort of make some sort of inference about what's going on back in the population um, based on our sample. But often, if, if the parameter that we're looking at in the population is median, in this case, we can see that if we take samples and we can, you know, we can do five more samples, drop down 20, drop down another 20, drop down another 20, and we can see that Although one of those did hit the mark, actually two of those hit the mark. A number of them are not hitting the, the 160. They're all over the place. And so the question becomes statistically, well, what do we do about that? What do we do about point estimates that, uh, from a sample being incorrect and uh, not necessarily, if I, you know, being correct, being the right one, giving us the right median? So um, what we do... And I can do this, say, a thousand times. Let's say I just do this a thousand times. So I take a thousand samples of 20 from that population. And what do we get? We get this blue area in here that is all the medians of the thousand plus samples that we have done. And you can see that they range that they range from way over here to about 150 centimeters all the way over to maybe close to 168 maybe centimeters. So we've got this range of values from a thousand plus samples. And the other thing we can do is we can, I can show it by another distribution instead of this, this line thing. I can show you um, how we take a sample of 20 and we drop that median down here into this box here, into the, um, into the this uh, other number line, if you will. And it shows us kind of a distribution of these medians in a different way. So every time we take a sample of 20, 
um, the median gets dropped down as a dot. And we can see that these are very close to 160, these first two. And then another dot, which is not really 160, which is something quite different. And so all we're doing is we're taking these medians and we're throwing them down into this number line as a dot distribution, as opposed to lines. And then let's say we do that a thousand times. We start to build this distribution of, um, of these medians, if you will. So what we've done from a population, we've done a thousand plus samples or a thousand samples. And we've got a range of medians that have happened somewhere between 150 and say 168. And then we drop those down to show sort of a dot plot distribution of, of where those are. And what we can see is we can see that we have a range of values. Most of them fall somewhere between, say, 150 and 165, maybe. And so we use that idea to develop something called bootstrapping. And, and we've already dealt with a 95% confidence interval. Well, well what this is ha doing, basically, is creating a 95% confidence interval for uh, the medians of this particular population, right? So here's a population. We've done a thousand samples that have various medians in it. A range of medians have dropped down from those thousand samples. And then what we do is we drop that down and show a distribution. And basically this distribution kind of represents a 95% confidence interval because we can kind of say with a lot of confidence, 95% confidence actually, that the median of the population in heights will range somewhere between, say, 150 and 165 or 170 even, I mean, somewhere around in there. And we can be pretty confident that although we might not know what the point estimate is, that in that population, that the, 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 the heights of those people are going to range somewhere between here and here. And that's what sample variability is all about. Because of sample variability and because we can't eliminate sample variability when we sample from a population, we use a confidence interval to sort of represent what's going on back in the population.